Greetings, friends. My name is Brett Ballinger. I'm the pastor to the people of Prince of Peace Lutheran Church in Marlton, New Jersey. Today is Monday, April 27th, and it is the beginning of our eighth week of our stay at home at order during the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. So at this point, um, almost two months into it, we have definitely settled into some new patterns of living, new patterns of life. Some we've become comfortable with, others we've become frustrated with, some are maybe even untenable, uh, and others we maybe enjoy. We've settled into so some new patterns of what it means for us to be church together and how we're living and supporting one another as disciples and followers of Jesus during this time. And so one of those ways uh, is through our various Zoom gatherings on this uh, wonderful platform uh, of technology to be able to still meet with one another, share with one another, see one another, and still be able to um, have appropriate physical distancing. And so uh, just this past week, um, our women's Lydia uh, Bible study met on Tuesday night and they began the book of Philippians, written by Paul while he was in confinement in prison. So we thought uh, that might be a good book to study while uh, we're in this kind of type of confinement uh, and see what uh, Paul might have to say. And in the very uh, first few verses of the letter of Paul to the Philippians, he says this, I thank God every time I think of you. In every prayer, I plead on your behalf. I rejoice at the way that you have continually helped to promote the good news to the poor. I give thanks for you. And that is my feeling today. I give thanks for you. I give thanks for all of you, for how you've been reaching out to your neighbors through phone calls, through various forms of technology, through old fashioned letter writing, through drive-bys, driving by their home. Just the other day, I heard of 50 cars that drove by a woman for it was her last day of chemotherapy to drive by and wish her well. I give thanks for your flexibility. This has been a time of needing to be incredibly flexible. I give thanks for each of your willingness to be inconvenienced and others of us willingness to even suffer because many of this situation has caused various types of suffering of not being able to see people or talk to people, especially to be with people when they are in hospitalized or in facilities. It is a time of suffer and your willingness to be patient in that suffering. I give thanks for your patience. I give thanks for those of you who are sheltering and staying in place at home. A firm act of loving your neighbor, practicing physical distancing. Indeed, I give thanks for our frontline workers, those who are working in grocery stores, uh, those who are doing takeout at restaurants, those who are delivering uh, and involved in our supply chains, those involved in factories that are still able to work, um, those that are working as um, doctors and nurses and housekeepers and um, dietary assistants, all those things in all of our facilities. I give thanks for you. I give thanks for you, for those of you who have delivered meals to our frontline workers. I give thanks to you for those who have chosen to pray for them every day and those who have given names uh, here at Prince of Peace where we've kept uh, begun a list of names of those working on the front line and offering prayer for them every day. I give thanks for you for holding them in prayer. I give thanks for you for looking for supplies and creating various things to help hold head masks so the back of their ears don't wear down, that there's special devices to hold them behind their head without breaking down the skin. 
I give thanks for you who are missing milestones during this time and are thinking of unique ways to support one another when you don't have prom or you don't have graduation, that you're thinking of unique ways to help celebrate that. I give thanks for, the, for those of you who are choosing to share what you have by donating food or money, to especially to food pantries and, and to our pantry, that just last week we served over 200 people, um, over a 600 now percent increase of what we normally have, and we are still able to meet the need. I give thanks for you, for those of you who have helped to make that fun happen. I give thanks for each of you at Prince of Peace who has continued to give to our general fund to help support the, the salaries of our staff and the regular running of our ministry. Thank you. We thank you for all of this. I thank those of you who share meals with our homebound, who make extra and take it over and drop it off in a safe way and, and share it with some of our folks who are homebound. I give thanks for you all. I give thanks for your calls and your emails. I give thanks for your creativity. I especially feel a special thanks in my heart to God for the creativity they feel that I've been given during this time to help support one another through our ministry, through this medium. There are so many things to be thankful for. So I encourage you to give thanks to every day. Think of things to give thanks and think about why you're thankful for them. To be filled with gratitude at this moment on this gloomy morning, just now the sun is beginning to pierce through the clouds. I give thanks for that at this moment. And so we're reminded of other words of Paul in another letter. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing and give thanks in all circumstances. So my friends, may that be um, our work this week, to rejoice always, rejoice at the birds singing in the background, to pray without ceasing, and to give thanks in all circumstances. Thanks be to God, I give thanks for you.